Your current relationship is a mirror of your inner world. I used to struggle with toxic relationships until I discovered how deeply my inner beliefs were shaping my experiences. So today, I'm gonna to share the powerful truths that transformed my love life and help you to do the same. Welcome to today's episode of Relationship Rescue, where we uncover the hidden secrets to manifest your dream relationship. You attract what you are, not what you want. So if you want it, reflect it. Let's dive into how you can transform your inner world to attract the love that you deserve. I remember feeling trapped in a cycle of toxic relationships, one after the other, trying harder than ever before, always working on improving and how I can be a better partner, wondering why I couldn't just find someone to love me. Lasting love. Sound familiar? It wasn't until I looked within and realized that my inner beliefs and my entire self-concept around what love isn't, what shouldn't be done, all the BS, all that was shaping my actual perception of the experiences and the illusion of reality, especially in my sacred relationships, those that I invested the most in, the one I was the most attached to, the one where I thought love had to look like this formula. But by changing my inner world, I began to attract healthy, loving relationships that I desired. So I had all the choices, finally. And you can do this too. Today, I'm gonna to show you how. One of the big things I had to really understand was my assumptions. I have lots of stories and lots of data, both personally and that I observed in the world around me and in the relationship with my mother and my father and my stepfather and her going through marriages and divorces and everything else. But yeah, I had my own assumptions about what a man is supposed to do in a relationship, how a man is supposed to, or really how am I supposed to show love? And it also had this really horrible assumption that if my partner said they didn't feel my love, and that meant that I was doing something wrong. I assumed that my partner was supposed to be the one that knew me more than anybody else. And if they saw something, that meant that they saw something I couldn't see. That's where learning about the law of assumption really changed things and many others. So let's talk about law of assumption for a minute. The law of assumption states that what you assume to be true becomes your reality. Now, hear me out. You can change your assumption for two seconds and wonder why it didn't change everything in your manifest reality. That's for another video. But the assumptions that you keep persisting in, your actual truths, whatever you think, the all the time you say, but I know this. Yeah, that becomes your reality. The more you think it, the more you claim you know it, the more you affirm what's going on in your relationships or anything else. That reality eventually manifests because you are the creator of reality. So if you assume you are unworthy of love, and I definitely thought I was unworthy of love for so many reasons, some of for what I did, some just because I'm a man, therefore I have to prove that I'm a good guy or else I'm automatically a bad guy. I had those horrible negative programming done to me that just because I'm a man, I'm already screwed. Like the assumption is I'm going to be an abuser and a taker and not care about anybody. And if you said you, did, you think I didn't care about you, I automatically was like, oh, I have to do move heaven and earth to prove it because you're the only judge of who I am. I totally bought into that nonsense for so many years of my life. But if you assume, <laughs> when you assume that you are deserving of a healthy, fulfilling relationship, you attract it. So I changed my assumption. Now I started affirming, assuming I am worthy. I visualize and see myself in the relationships that I desired exactly how I wanted them to look. That's the assumption that I had to change. And that's the assumption I want you to change. If you assume anything about yourself, that is going to manifest so that you prove yourself right. It's just, it's just how powerful you and I are. So accept it. That is the law of assumption. In a nutshell, along with the law of assumption, I do come with an extensive background experience in the law of attraction. And so I had to realize where does the law of assumption and law of attraction start and end? And that is something that can be argued or discussed in many different venues and podcasts and probably already is. But how I integrated it into my understanding and what helped me change everything was looking at it this way. The law of attraction was about alignment aligning my energy with what I actually want to attract. So the assumption 
piece is about living in the end, assuming you're already there. There's a whole lot of processes by Neville Goddard that I have taught on other channels. And my clients, it's all valid. Everything is valid, by the way, even shadow work, even though I would say, don't do it. It's valid to a point. So law of attraction is also still valid. It's what I learned so much of in my life. But since the law of attraction is about alignment and energy, it's really about what you want to focus on. What do you want to focus on? If you're working on relationships, you focus on love, gratitude, fulfillment, drawing in the similar energies. If I am embodying love, fulfillment, passion, then I'm walking around in love and people respond to that. The world and the universe responds to that because I'm putting it out there. It's going to reflect back to me. It's automatic. So you draw in the similar energies. When you walk around in love, you're going to draw in love. To manifest a healthy relationship, I want you to practice gratitude for the love you already have. Stay open. Receive it. Start by loving yourself, which is the foundation for all of this. If you don't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? So you got to love yourself first. And keep loving yourself as you navigate through your relationships so that you can stay in alignment with love because you're going to have conflict. You're going to have crisis. You're going to have pivots. You're going to have moments of contradiction. If you lose the alignment of love, that's simply, then you're never going to find lasting love. So we want to stay in alignment with the feeling and presence of being in love and being unconditional as we navigate our relationships. You can go or stay. I'm going to tell you, if you got to go in love, love them out the door because you're going to carry that into the next relationship. You need to listen to this. Don't miss this one. If you're struggling to save your relationship, know that the answers you seek are already within you. My book, Relationship Rescue, is more than just a guide. It's a path to awakening the love that lies dormant in your connection. Through practical steps and spiritual insights, you'll learn how to rebuild trust dissolve conflicts, and reignite the flame of your partnership. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Take the first step towards healing and reconciliation by getting your copy today. This leads me into another thing that relationships were constantly showing me, but I wasn't willing to see it because I was focused externally on what they were doing and saying and what I could do in reaction to what they were doing and saying. This is the mere principle which you've heard me say over and over again, the relationships, your relationship is an actual mirror reflecting your inner state. There's no half about this. So let's stop being picky and choosy. Yes, it can be very convenient to hear this. Go, yeah, you're right, Anthony. Uh, I totally get that. But when my partner does this, that's not a mirror. That's because they're evil and they're a liar and they're a cheater. And I got a hundred Things I documented to prove it. And I have a TikTok all about it with thousands of followers believing in me. That's all BS. It's all a mirror. If we're in a mirror universe, if your relationship is a mirror to your inner world, it's always a mirror to your inner world, not just the parts you're willing to take responsibility for. If you're only half in, half out of any processes and you're wondering why you aren't able to manifest what you're asking for, this is why you got to go all in. You can't go half into believing anything. Everything you believe and assume in your life, you believe it 100%. You don't believe it half and half. But if you want to change your beliefs and manifest differently, you got to go all in and be 100% with this stuff. No halfsies, okay? Not one foot in, one foot out. It doesn't work. What I had to realize is that when I was experiencing conflict in my relationships, dissatisfaction, I didn't like what she did or what they did. To change my life, I realized this is an opportunity for me to look within and address my inner beliefs and emotions. I was supporting a friend about how she was feeling in her current relationship. And I said, when you're looking at your partner and they're expressing themselves to you in this kind of way, which seems really abusive, that seems really unhealthy, X, Y, Z. Instead of just trying to soothe everything they're saying to you, take a breath, look at them. And for 10 seconds, ask yourself, what am I trying to tell myself in this moment in time? And then respond versus automatically responding, triggered, emotional, sad, desperate, afraid to lose the person. Whatever your story is, you play this out the same way. So change how you look at it. 
what am I trying to learn from this experience I put myself in that I created? When you cultivate this kind of self-awareness in harmony, you then reflect and attract love you desire versus just reacting to the 3D sensations of the world, which keep you chasing your tail round and round until you choose to stop hitting your head with a hammer. Don't just take my word for it. Nicole, a client of mine, went through her divorce. I was supporting her as she was going and dating through the whole process. She had issues of unworthiness, not knowing who she is anymore because she was in a marriage for 20 years. You can imagine just, she was really devastated. She met her soulmate very shortly after the work shifted to changing her state of mind, changing who she believes she was in, letting go of the old story. We changed her assumptions. We changed what she was aligning to, aligned to the future and being now, not the past. That story was just dead and gone. Her shift was so profound that she was the first person to move out of state in her entire family. She moved out, started a whole new life, and she just got married two months ago. Really a powerful story of shifting everything. And she's so happy and we're still close. Another success story, he focused on his wish fulfilled and his wife dropped the divorce. Now they're both navigating the process to move back in. He's not trying to make it happen. She is bringing it up because he has let go of resistance. He kept his family together by staying faithful to his vision, not the 3D circumstances. All those 3D circumstances were just perfect opportunities to give up and run away and just give in. But he held true to the faith and his assumption. Now these stories show transformation is possible with the right mindset and techniques and living your wish fulfilled, attracting and assuming. Now, I'm gonna give you some practical steps, okay? So take out a pen and paper, write this down. To manifest a healthy relationship, number one, I want you to visualize. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing yourself in a loving relationship. If you don't know what that looks like, you gotta figure that out. So figure out what a loving relationship actually looks like with tangibles, concrete things. Pick things, not just feelings and sensations. Pick actual things that happen in the relationship or else you can't visualize it. Do that, number one. Number two, affirmations. So let's throw out any BS ideas that are out there right now that affirmations don't work. That's just poppycock, okay? That's just nuts. Repeat affirmations such as, I am worthy of love. I attract healthy relationships. I am already in a loving relationship that looks like, and tell the story. Visualizing is about telling that story. So if you really have a hard time visualizing, then tell the story, write it down. So number one could be storytelling or visualizing. Number three, Self-love practices. Self-love. I want you to engage in actual activities to boost your self-esteem and well-being. So that means love on yourself. Don't just go do one or two things. Self-love is all day. I love myself right now. When I make mistakes on this camera, I still love myself. That's what I'm talking about. Self-love and self-care should be moment by moment, all day, every day. By consistently applying steps for self-love practices, you align your inner world with the love you desire. That's what I had to do. And it's what I have to keep doing. This isn't a one-time thing. If you want to shift your life, you got to keep doing this. You don't do it one time and then wait for something bad to happen and go, oh, it never worked. It was all an illusion. No, the illusion is believing in that story. We have covered a lot today. Today we explored how to transform your inner world to manifest the love you deserve. We covered that you're in a current relationship that mirrors your inner state. We covered that by applying the law of assumption, the law of attraction, and the mirror principle, you automatically attract and maintain a healthy, loving relationship. There's, again, no half-ass about this. We do it all in or nothing. So I encourage you to start these practices today. Share your experiences. What is the one thing that is the hardest of everything I share with you today? And also, what is the one thing that, you know what, you're going to do it right now. You got this down. To move forward, I want you to do this. Download the Relationship Rescue Workbook at relationshiprescueworkbook.com. This is going to help you save your current relationship or marriage in just three days. If you're willing to do the work, you got to do the work. Because what do you got to lose? It's regardless of whether you stay or go, you take yourself with you. 
Love yourself. Do the work. You deserve it. Your current relationship or the next one deserves all of you. If you have kids, they deserve all of you. So you got to work on the relationship with you. And that fixes every other relationship around you. You're sacred. You're worthy. You are love. This is Anthony Cortino, Sacred Cobra. We'll see you next time. Cheers.